Hey, <clears throat> what's up guys? Um, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from Your Black World, the Black Business School. And I wanted to share something with you that I just read in um, this, this uh, site called um, IFL Science. And it's based on a study at Georgia Tech University. Um, this really interesting study basically says that self-driving cars are more likely to run you over if you are black. Um, when I saw it, I was kind of surprised, but then again, I'm not. Um, and uh, basically what they are referencing is a, a study at Georgia Tech University that found that self-driving vehicles um, have a tougher time detecting skin tones or darker skin tones. So if you're dark like me, uh, the, uh, the whatever the technology is behind the self-driving car isn't as likely to pick up your skin. And so as a result, it's more likely to run you over. Um, and so uh, they, they did a lot of controls in the study. They control for time of day and whether the person is being partially blocked and stuff like that. And uh, they came up with this result. Now, um, the, uh, you know, a few people have brought this up, you know, talked about it on social media. Um, I, obviously, the machines aren't being racist, right? It's the people that design the technology that have the, um, the racial uh, challenge, if you will, or have made the mistake in the sense that um, a lot of these models are based on certain assumptions about the way things are supposed to be, the way things are supposed to look. And so uh, I'm not going to make any assumptions that the, that the individuals who designed the, the technology are trying to be racist. But uh, I think it's, it's another interesting example of how uh, you know, implicit bias exists you know, all throughout the society. It exists uh, all throughout, you know, entire systems. Uh, in fact, I remember when I did, um, when I got in trouble when I was working on my PhD and uh, there was a Stanford professor who did a um, study in which he was looking at investment behavior patterns based on race. And what he did was, uh, one of his assumptions in the model was that uh, basically you had two buckets, two types of people, white and non-white. Right. Which was a big problem because basically he was assuming that everybody who's not white is the same, that the only thing that matters is that you're white or you're not white. And after that, nothing else is relevant. And I corrected him and I said, you know, that's kind of like talking about the whole animal kingdom and saying you're either a giraffe or a non giraffe. Right. Doesn't make any sense because the mosquitoes are different from the monkeys, which are different from the elephants. And so, you know, that inability to discern uh, you know, the, the diversity and cultural variations that naturally exist in the world, uh, you know, it, it got me into a lot of trouble for bringing this up. But I was like, hey, look, you know, I'm not just a non-white person. I'm a black man. You know, that, that means something. It doesn't, you know, I'm not, I'm not Hispanic. I'm not Asian. Right. We're, we're different. So anyway, um, so uh, yeah, with the self-driving cars, cars, I'm going to say it doesn't make me afraid of the technology. Honestly, the technology is actually pretty good in the sense that um, if I'm not mistaken, self-driving cars are actually safer than um, than cars driven by human beings. So that's a good thing to know. But yeah, if you are black, you have a 5% greater likelihood of getting your butt ran over if a self-driving car happens to be coming down the road. But don't be scared. Just go out there and just live your life. All right. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. Uh, make sure you go check out the Black Business School so you can learn a little bit more about investing and business and everything else. That's theblackbusinessschool.com. Make sure you also subscribe and share and all this other good stuff and hit the like button. So I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day. Peace.